Hi, this is Evan from WCCF Tech, and NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards, based on the Ada Lovelace GPU architecture, are expected to retain their existing PCIe Gen 4.0 compliance, as reported by Cobalt 7 Kimi. NVIDIA will also be launching its GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards based on the brand new Ada Lovelace GPU architecture later this year. The specifications and specific configurations for the graphics card lineup have already been leaked, but the design of the card themselves is the more interesting aspect. So far, we know that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards will adopt the new ATX 3.0 compliant 16-pin connector, which allows for up to 600 watts of power draw through the new PCIe Gen 5 power connector interface. This power connector has already been featured on the GeForce RTX 3090 Ti graphics card, and allows for up to 450 watts of power draw through a triple 8-pin adapter. But there's another aspect to allow the full PCIe Gen 5.0 compliance, and that's the interface connector itself. Currently, modern graphics cards communicate to the CPU through the PCIe Gen 4.0 protocol. The PCIe Gen 4.0 protocol allows for 64 gigabytes a second of total and 32 gigabytes a second of bi-directional bandwidth. But the latest platforms from both Intel and AMD support the brand new PCIe Gen 5.0 interface protocol. This new standard allows for up to 128 gigabytes a second of total and 64 gigabytes a second of bi-directional bandwidth. This will essentially double the bandwidth, but it looks like the upcoming graphics cards, or at least the high-end GeForce RTX 40 series graphics cards based on the AD102 GPU won't feature that new PCIe Gen 5.0 interface just yet. Based on a tweet from Copite 7 Kimi, the upcoming RTX 40s lineup will retain the PCIe Gen 4.0 protocol, which is a bold move by Nvidia for not hopping on the next generation standard, even though they are doing so in the HPC segment where their Hopper GPU will be among the first to utilize the new PCIe Gen 5 protocol. Now, it makes sense that the HPC lineup features it because servers require a lot of bandwidth and the Gen 5 protocol will help in these environments greatly. As for consumers, the PCIe Gen 5.0 interface is just a lot of bandwidth, and current GPUs are yet to fully saturate the PCIe Gen 4.0 interface. Now having PCIe Gen 4.0 bodes well for the entry level lineup, which doesn't need to worry about bottlenecks if they are equipped with the lower lanes, as this was the case with the Radeon RX 6500 and 6400 series, which when switching over to the Gen 3 standard end up with less than the required graphics bandwidth, leading to poor performance versus when it utilizes a PCIe Gen 4.0 standard. If the high-end lineup isn't fully utilizing the Gen 4.0 standard, then the low-end lineup is far from hitting the max threshold. So far, we can't say for sure if NVIDIA will truly retain the PCIe Gen 4.0 upon its upcoming RTX 40 series cards, but that could change as marketing does like to have the PCIe Gen 5.0 logo for the newer cards. Aside from the PCIe Gen 5.0 and PCIe Gen 4.0 support, NVIDIA is also seemingly going to make major changes to the way its CUDA cores are arranged within the Ada Lovelace architecture. The GPUs for the GeForce RTX 40 series will not just be a simple CUDA core bump from Ampere, but could include a range of new mixed precision cores that aren't detailed yet. The lineup is still a few months away from introduction, so a lot could change in that time, but we'll make sure to keep you updated. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.